Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will discuss about the operating systems. If you are beginners or want to learn operating systems from very basics, then this is a good place to learn operating system. As we will discuss each and every concepts from very basics, and we will try to cover every topic of operating systems in our upcoming videos. So guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get instant notification from our side whenever we will upload a new video. Guys, we will also upload a new updation or notification videos like a job notification or interview notification or important questions for your exams or general awareness, current affairs and quant reasoning like that, right? So please subscribe so that you can get much and more knowledge from our channel if you have any kind of queries for after uh, completing the video you can comment us and if you want to learn any new topic from us you can also comment that topic so that we can prepare the video for you and you can uh, learn from our side so guys let's start the operating system so as we are starting from very basic so what is operating systems operating system is an interface between user and computer hardware right is uh, operating system is user application and uh, ha interface between computer hardware and user application right suppose any user want to use any computer so how he or she will use it interactively how he or she will use it very easily so operating system comes into the picture operating system basically work as a interface so that any user, suppose a merchant owner or Kirana operator want to use computer system in his or her shop, then how easily, how user friendly he can use that for his purpose, right? So operating system comes into picture. Now operating system depends on device to device. Suppose you are using any Windows PC, then operating system is Windows. Linux may be on a type of operating system. If you are using Android operating system, then the latest version of Android or whatever version you have, Android is operating system for there. If you are Apple user, then iOS is the operating system there, right? So there are many type of operating system depends on your devices or PC. So basically the work of operating system is to work as an interface between user application and computer hardware right now suppose if you have write a program main in text printf hello it's knf in your c compiler then we just want to learn that how it works how the interface will work right so the command printf hello will command it to print hello on the output screen right so printf will internally calls write system call in order to communicate with the monitor so that hello will be printed on the screen so printf what it is doing it is doing or it is internally calling a system call right to write to show this hello on the output screen right if you do not know the concept of system call then let's learn system call is the request sent by the user program to the operating system in order to get any kind of service right suppose any kind of service a user want like to show some kind of information onto the screen or to show or to allocate memory or to allocate a file or to request a file then this kind of services will be provided by operating system that's why operating system is called as resource allocator because it is responsible for allocation of resources of a computer right now resources are categorized mainly into two types hardware types and software types in hardware types devices and memory are there and in software types files are there so basically it is a concept of system call basically it is a very useful term in the uh, terminology of operating system and the further use we will learn in our upcoming videos now what are goals of operating system so basically the primary goal is convenience means easy to use whoever will use computer whoever want to use your devices will use devices or computer or any electronic device or gadgets conveniently right easy to use means complexity is not there it is easy to use so that anyone can use it so the primary goal of operating system is convenience and the secondary goal is efficiency if it is convenient then efficiency should be there it not sh it should not create any ambiguity it should not create any kind of misconfusion or it should not be hanged it should not create mis uh, misleading information right suppose you are uh, clicked any button and it works 
some different functions right so efficiency should be there it should not be stopped while working an important task suppose you have a mobile phone and if it stops on your calling then what's the use of that mobile phone right so efficiency should be there so the basic goal of operating system is convenience and efficiency now types of operating system now there are various types of operating system which are very useful for the terminology purpose and the concept will be used in our upcoming lectures and another subjects also because the terminology you should also know that how the work how this kind of operating system works so that you can get another concept very easily right so the first type of operating system is the batch operating system you can simultaneously uh, note down in your copies or write so that you can make notes simultaneously by pausing the video and if you have any kind of queries that you are uh, coming with then you can also comment us and please be patient with us because this is a lengthy concept lengthy subject so that it might get you some kind of boringness but if you will watch this until the end then you will get much and more concept in your head and you will get surely a good knowledge with us right so the first operating system is batch operating system if the job is completed completely then only another job will be scheduled on the cpu right means suppose three jobs are there then until and unless job 1 will not complete it right until and unless job 1 will not complete and job 2 will not start means after completion of job 1 job 2 will be started and after completion of job 2 completely or until and unless it is not finished job 3 will not start after finishing of this job 2 job 3 will start right so this kind of operating system is known as the batch operating system it will increase cpu idleness that after job 1 job 2 will be completed and job 3 will be completed right but it will decrease the throughput of the system right so basically advantage is it will increase cpu idleness but the disadvantage is it will decrease the throughput of the system now what is the throughput right so the number of jobs completed for unique time is called as throughput now in number of jobs will be completed in a time it until and unless job 1 is not completed job 2 will not start right so it will decrease the throughput of the system that's why throughput will be decreased in the batch type operating system throughput is an important term many times asked in vocabulary type questions also that what is the throughput what do you mean by throughput in operating system or like that then number of jobs completed in a unique time is called as throughput of the system for example ibm os2 it is a type of batch operating system right it is a type of batch operating system now the second type of operating system is multi programming operating system if the job is leaving the cpu to perform input output operations then another job which is ready for execution will be scheduled on to the cpu suppose there are several jobs and if the first job want to exit or it want to leave then the next job which is ready to execute will be scheduled to the operating system so it will increase cpu utilization and it will also increase throughput of the system the examples are windows unix linux the general purpose operating systems right so basically when one job is leaving the next job which is ready to execute will be scheduled okay means in this type of operating system we are not waiting for the job one to complete right so up in this video uh, in this operating system we what what we are doing in this operating system we are assigning or scheduling the next job which are ready to execute right we are not waiting for the finishing of the first coming jobs right so this kind of operating system are called as multi programming and the examples are windows unix and linux the next type is multitasking operating system so what are multitasking operating systems multitasking operating system is an extension of multi programming operating system so it is an extension of multi programming operating system right the jobs will executed in the time sharing mode means they will preempted like yeah first one second job one will be completed after one second job two after one second job three if there are three jobs then again after four second first job will be means in time sharing mode they will be do so this kind of operating system windows and unix are also types of multitasking depend on the processor types now the next is multi processor operating systems so increased they will increase the throughput of the system because if there are several processors then the throughput will be increased many jobs can be completed in a unique time so it will increase reliability means fault tolerant system also and it is economical unix is type of multi processor operating system right and the next is real time system 
it is the fifth type of operating system the system which are strictly deadly time bound or called as real time systems real time systems are for example missile system or satellite suppose you want to operate a satellite or you want to launch a satellite then hard real time it is a type of deadly time bound hard real means suppose on the end of 10 second you have to launch your missile then it should not be wait until 11 second or 12 second right means it should be strictly deadly time bounded after countdown will be goes up uh, up to 10 the missile should be launched there should not be delay if they should delay then they kind they may be happen some kind of may, most dangerous errors like so hard time real uh, systems are there missile system and satellite and the soft real time is banking software means suppose if you have transact the amount then if it is not go into the account of others that's okay after one hour it will be go after we will solve deadlock right or after one hour or two hour it will be okay that yeah the amount of transaction is goes rightly to the but in the hard real time we are not waiting that after one uh, if, if we have assigned the the missile system should be launched at the 10 am but we are not waiting that at 11 am it should be launched it should be strictly time on the 10 am strictly it should be launched but in soft real time like banking software it should be okay that if it is not transact right then it will transact it later right so these are the real time systems in operating system so these are the five types of operating system which we have learned you can make notes of this because this kind of operating system may be asked in some theoretical questions or they may be asked in your interviews that what kind of systems you are what do you mean by that right so this kind of questions are very frequently asked and we are we are learning from very basic so this terminology you should know because if you don't know this kind of terminology then there might be error or there might be confusion in your upcoming lecture so we have discussed this kind of terminology there so guys i hope you have learned very important concept from our side and in our upcoming videos we will discuss very important videos and very uh, important lectures which we have remaining and we will also discuss each and every subjects of computer science and whatever you want to learn with gate net whatever right so please subscribe our youtube channel please press the bell icon button and if you have any kind of query or comments please comment us so that we can solve your query as early as possible further please subscribe and you can follow us on social to where we have updated regular updates for you so guys thank you so much have a nice day jai hind jai bharat